hyperbolas. We're going to go ahead and do another one, but what I want to focus on this time is helping you understand uh, what the transverse axis is, what the conjugate axis is, and how to find the eccentricity and what it is. Uh, so again, one of the first things you're going to do is decide which way is this going to open. Well, because it's x squared subtract y squared, we know that it's going to be opening left and right. And when we look to find the center, there's not a set of parentheses uh, with the x value, so we know the x value will be 0. In the parentheses with the y is 1, to 0 that out would be negative 1. So at 0, negative 1 will be the center uh, of the of that rectangle of the hyperbola. And then again, to find the vertices, a is under the x, the square root of 25 is 5, the square root of 16 is 4. So on the x, in the x-axis direction, we're going to go over 5 both ways, both left and right. And so for those vertices, we're going to have negative 5, 0, and positive 5, 0. And for the vertices in the other direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, I'm going to call those the co co-vertices. We're at 0, 3, and we're at 0, negative 5. Okay, then what you do, remember, is we're going to draw except for I need to uh, we're going to draw a rectangle around all those vertices points and then we're going to draw two diagonal lines make that a little bit bigger and we're going to make these kind of transparent I'm going to have to fix that in a minute, but we'll go ahead and do that. So you go ahead and draw the shape, and you draw the the asymptotes, or these lines that I'm drawing that run through the diagonals of the of the rectangle. All right, and remember to find the asymptotes. Um, the equation of the asymptotes, because they're, they're lines, asymptotes, it's just y is equal to both positive and negative b over ax. So in this case, whoops, this is the b value right here, y is equal to positive and negative 4 fifths x. So notice we went up 4 over 5, down 4 over 5. So that's how you find the equation of the line of the asymptotes. We found the center. We figured out which way it's opening. We've labeled the vertices. The direction is left and right. So since we know it's going to be opening left and right, we can go ahead and draw that. It's going to touch that ver vertex point. And remember, the asymptotes confine they're going to get this, the hyperbola pieces are going to get really close to the asymptotes, but never touch it. There's the vertex right there. There's the vertex. All right, so we know that the focus is going to be in front of the two curved line pieces. So the x-axis is going to be the transverse axis. And again, Kind of like with the ellipse, you just double. If from here to here is 5, and from here to here is 5, twice 5, so this time it's twice A. If the shape would have been facing the other direction, the opening would have been um, up and down, it would have been 2 times B. And then the eccentricity of a hyperbola, a little bit different than the, uh, the ellipse, is... Here's the equation, or here's the ratio. The eccentricity is equal to uh, the c value over a, so it's a squared plus b squared. Well, well, 25 plus 16, 
So e is equal to the square root of 41, that ratio, over a. And when you divide that, it'll be a value bigger than 1. The square root of 41 is going to be around 6.5 divided by 5. So it's going to be a little more than 1 dot dot dot. I, I didn't open a calculator to figure that out. But it tells you how curvy. And this is not as curvy as some. Some parabolas could look like this. Or hyperbolas could be very, very sharp turns. This is a pretty wide, uh, a wide turn. All right, I think that's it for finding, uh, figuring out how long the transverse. So the axis that doesn't run through the focus is called the conjugate ax ax uh, axis, and if it in this case it's the b value, so it's just twice b. Oh, we still need to find the focus. Remember, the focus is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, well 25 plus 16 is 41, so c is equal to the square root of 41, which is somewhere close to about 6.5. So we're going to go out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, they're, they're about 6.5, and negative 6.5, and there we have it. So the how you would mark that, you would put this positive square root of 41, um, and that's down at negative 1, and negative root 41, comma, negative 1. And that's how you'd label that. All right.